Wake up the country, wake up the country, wake up the town. Sun is shining. Good morning, family friends. It's a beautiful TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Uh huh. That's for y'all, uh, Monday to Friday workers. But you know what I say? This is what I say. Good morning, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad for a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, sir. We're thankful for each day that God has given us breath. You see that? You hear that? That's the fresh breath that God has put inside your lungs this morning. Don't take it for granted. It's a lease on life from Jehovah Jireh, y'all. If you got breath in your lungs this morning, put your hand up and say, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for woke me up this morning in my right mind. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy to see another day. We do not want to take this day for granted. We thank you in advance for what you already done to send your son to die on a cross for us. Freely we accept him as our personal Lord and Savior. Father God, protect my family and friends. Thank you for the beautiful rain. Oh my goodness, we need it. Replenish the earth. Give the animals and us water to drink and make it all green and keep the dust down. And our systems need it. Thank you for your rainbow. Oh yes, your sign. Yes, yes, yes. Your covenant through us. You never destroy this planet again with us. Blood. Thank you for your covenant. Beautiful rainbow we saw this morning here in Rainbow City. Thank you, Father God, for just sending your Holy Spirit saturate the airways right now and meet the needs of the people. Fill them up, fill them up. Give them the love, the joy, the peace that surpass all understanding. Something that this material stuff or this planet, this earth, and things cannot give us. We won't rely on our own understanding, but we can acknowledge you, you Father God, Jehovah Jireh. You can continue and guide us and protect us and give us every single thing we have need for. We thank you in advance for meeting the needs. No matter how great or how small or insignificant it might seem to others, Father God, thank you for meeting the needs. And then, because of our faith and trusting in you, and because we're going to do what you entrust us with to be good stewards of what you entrust us with to be good servants what you entrust us with in this earth then we'll get the extra the extra on top the cream of the crop yes lord second Corinthians 9 8 because of our ministry are given to the body of christ first you will get the glory so thank you for trusting us with the small things so you can trust us with the bigger things bless this program be a blessing to each and every one the sound of my voice this morning 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let someone get closer to you. Have a better relationship with you, Father God. Father God, and ultimately someone gets saved. Know you as a personal Lord and Savior. I'm going to step out of the way. It's not about me. It's definitely not about me. It's all about you. And you be glorified and edified. We will have no other gods before you. Nah, Father God. We will always honor you. And give you the highest praise Jehovah Jireh Our God, our Lord and our Savior The creator of the heavens and the earth And anyone else lacking wisdom The word of God says Ask for it and it will be given Solomon all his things He asked for one thing it wasn't the riches, the stuff uh, Things of this world It was wisdom, wisdom, wisdom Thank you for giving us wisdom today in this sermon Thank you, Lord. Let your will be done in this day. As I step back, Father God, you take the wheel. You take this program, this ministry, and direct it the way you want it to go, Father God. I just say whatever you leave me to say, and I'll introduce whoever you need me to introduce. Your humble servant, Jesus' name, I pray. Bless my family and friends this morning. Amen, amen. Good morning, good morning, family and friends. Ira Harris here with you on your ready the old Friday the 18th. Man, the month is almost going. As Brother T said this morning, we're going to have a guest artist coming in here. All the way from SVG. St. Vincent in the Grenadines. Big up, big up, big up. Big up, big up, big up. Hey, it's going to be on. Make sure you stay tuned for that. It's going to happen anytime between 8 and 10.30. <laughs> There you go. So you tell a friend and tell a friend to tune in, man. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yes. So make sure you hang out for that. All the SVGs folks and the family here locally and the ones that tune into the live stream. Thank you for tuning in each and every one to the live stream this morning. Do appreciate it. Let's start with a scripture. The word of God. Let's go to the Bible. The basic instruction before leaving earth this morning. Yes. Psalms 107, 1 to 2. We're going to start with the King James Version. Now, whoa, we got a lot of Thessalonians out there. Especially down here in the cabin. I love some King James Version. So I'm going to give it to you the King James Version just because you like it that way, okay? <laughs> I'll read all versions, y'all. I'll read it so I can get it, so I can understand it. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercies endured forever. Let's say it again together. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endured forever. In verse 2, let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Family and friends, that's like two life verse scriptures right there. I'm going to give it to you one more time. Yes. Psalms 107, 1 to 2, King and James Version. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endured forever. Mm -mm -mm. Man, let, verse 2, let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Woo! That's powerful right there, man. That is powerful right there. I can stay there all morning. But you know what? I'm going to give it to you in a Lou Living Translation. Give thanks. Verse 1. Waddles, Cams, 107, 1 to 2. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. It's pretty much the same. Verse 2. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then cry out. Tell others he has redeemed you from their enemies. Psalms 107, 1 to 2, New Living. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Verse 2. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out, speak out. Shout it from the rooftop to the top of the four corners of the earth to let somebody know. Tell others he has redeemed you from your enemies. Man, if you got something to scream and shout about, I'm going to scream and shout all the way to 1030. I hope y'all stick and stay because <laughs> God has done so much for me. So much for me. Oh, my goodness. My little short little 20 years with 30 plus years of experience. <laughs> 
God, it's been so good. So, 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 so good. Mm, taste and see. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord Jehovah. I love you so much, Father God. Thank you for your grace and mercy every day. I just feel like praying, man. But when I look back, retrospect where God has brought me from, could have lost my mind, could have died on a battlefield, could have been shot up, could have had holes in me leaking right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but God, but God, if y'all know what I'm saying, feel me, but God, but God, yes, but God. All right, family, most of the music you hear on here, you can get on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, all the digital media. Make sure you say your love and support for the artists, okay? Show your love and support. I've got a website. I'm on there right now. It's www.worldwideweb. D a j i r a h a r r i s dot com. That was spelled D J I R A Harris dot com. There's a chat button if you want to send me a message. Okay, you can put your first name, last name in there, and it'll come right to me. Okay, something you want to share. Also on that se- that website, got a burden for artists. If you feel your artist, you want to get some music out there, make sure it is. Let me tell you what I play, guys. The majority of 99.9% of what I play is gospel. Let me tell you my definition of gospel music. Something that's going to edify Jesus Christ. My personal, your personal Lord and Savior. And be empowering to you. Be able to help you. And God get the glory in the entire song. Okay? That's what I consider gospel. And also, just to put a lid on it. And tie it up in a little knot. The preaching of the death, burial, and resurrection. Okay, that's that's why I consider gospel music. All right, <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> so I play about ninety nine point nine percent of that. The, the point nine or something else kind of floats up in there, mix it. But you know, I, the focus is all about Jesus. We taking back the music, y'all. We taking back the music industry. All right, God gonna get the glory. So I got a YouTube channel. If you can go on there, not right now. After the program. And that's www.djirahharristv.com. When you go over there, basically the programs that you hear today are previous blogs and stuff, information, local stuff as well. What's going on, you know, it's over there. If you like what you hear, including this program, be uploaded probably shortly on there as well. You can hit the subscribe button on the YouTube. And if you want to click the notification bell, click that thing and I'll let you know when new stuff, new programming, new blogs, especially the interview and stuff, will be uploaded on there so you can keep, an, keep abreast of what's going on, okay? Of course, you can leave a message and like and share, like and share, like and share, like and share, like and share. I'm on Facebook as well, just because I have to be, <laughs> not because I want to be. I'm on Facebook. You do a search for me, do DJ Ira Harris, okay? You'll see Gospel DJ. My logo on there is like playing God's music and song, okay? Yeah, I'm in and out of Facebook. You can send me a message. I matter of fact, I got my messenger on there. You send me a message, I'll get it as well, all right? So, family, friends, today, Friday the 18th, October 2019, we got a Friday cultural Caribbean mix here for you. Yes, that's what's on today. And today, you're gonna have a special guest artist, Hayden Bellinger. That's the correct pronunciation of his name, Hayden Bellinger, out of St. Vincent and the Gritty Deeds. Uh, got some new tracks, eh? and he's gonna tell you testimony, share a little bit of word of encouragement for you, especially if you're an upcoming artist or you're trying to do some stuff in your life. It doesn't even have to be music. He's got a powerful testimony or some words of wisdom. It's gonna come up. I'll let him speak for himself. I ain't gonna talk for him. I promise I won't even say a word. <laughs> Let nothing hold you down. It's Friday. Yes, sir.
It's a beautiful day, family and friends. Thank the Lord for waking us up. Fresh breath in our lungs. And that means because you have life in your breath and your lungs, God is not done with you yet. It's a beautiful day. Let's get along to get along. Yes, hell yes. We want to thank the Lord for His grace and mercy this morning. Thank you for the showers we got this morning. The joy, the pain, the suffering, the happy times, the good times, we need it all because we keep our eyes on the cross. If everything was hunky-dory and going good for you, mm, you wouldn't have no need of a savior. I can guarantee you that one. So all that keeps you balanced and balanced at focus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sunshine, thank you for rain. Fresh mix with thank Ira Hell. Fresh mix with thank Ira Hell. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. I want to say good morning to my mom. Good morning, mom. Love you so very much. Mwah. That's a sugar test day for you. Good morning, my children, my siblings, extended family. Of course, you, the listeners of Cool FM this morning. And every part of my body was in place Many people died and never saw this day So another day I live, I appreciate Don't ever wanna act too high and mighty Cause tomorrow I can fall down on my face So in everything, Lord, I give you praise And that puts a smile on my face Lord, I thank you for sunshine
Are you ready? Yes, sir. Ready. Steady. Family, friends, a little bit of Christopher here for ya. Time to jump, jump, jump. Yes, sir. Radical Christian boy, a radical Christian boy. Are you ready to jump for the Lord? That's what I want to know. Are you ready to get your praise on this morning? Are you ready to praise and shout and break them yokes? You better get ready. Get ready. family and friends we supposed to go into the wall and preach the nation about the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior my personal Lord and Savior that's what the greatest mandate is so are you ready come on we can jump one time for Jesus here we go Family and friends, has God done something for you lately? Man, he already did it before. He sent his son to die on the cross for you. You gotta be in. Oh, you gotta be out. You can't be lukewarm. You gotta tell the world. Tell the world that God has done something for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You ready? What you waiting on? What you waiting on? You at your workplace? Are you on your job? Are you driving down the road? When is the last time you tell a person or someone around you about Jesus? Yeah, tell them about Jesus. Tell them how he went to the cross. And on the third day he rose again for you and me and for them too. Man, come on, you gotta make it do what it do. I'm a radical Christian boy. I'm a radical Christian boy. It's all the 
Put your hands up for Jesus, y'all. Put your hands up and give glory to Christ. Have you evolved the law? Show a sign. Hands up, hands up. Put your hands up and give glory to Christ. Christ. Put your hands up and shine up your lights. Put your hands up and give glory to Christ. Christ. Put your hands up and shine up your lights. Let me see your lights. Now put your hands in the air and let me see those lights. 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 So just turn on your phone and shine it so bright. Lights. Vincent and the Grenadines and you are listening to DJ Ira Harris. Now it is the time, family and friends, each one to reach one. Back to back, Christopher Rye, y'all. Each one, reach one. God is gonna make you a fisherman, a man. Come on, where you at? Patience is the key, patience is the key, you gotta wait. Some sow, some see in others water, other waters gotta get the entrance. God will make you a fisherman a man. Come on, family and friends. Each one reach one. Share your fears, patience is virtue, pray, then share your 
Pray and share your faith. Let someone know. Let somebody know. Don't keep it all to yourself. Pray and share your faith. Share your fears. Patience is virtue. Pray. Then share your fears. One more. Pull him up. I'm gonna make you a fisherman. A fisherman, I'm in. I'm gonna make you a fisherman. A fisherman, I'm in. Row, row, fish is a man. Now is the time to cast your net. In it out there, tell someone that God has been good to you this morning. And you gotta have patience, some so others will to God get the increase. Patience is virtue, then share your fears. One more, pull him up, I'm gonna make you. pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. You see your brother and the sister falling, pull him up, pull him up. I'm gonna make you a fisherman. Patience, patience. Patience is virtue, pray. Then share your fears. One more, pull him up. One more, pull him up. Pull him up, pull him up. Don't give up on those folks that you're praying for. Come on, have patience. Patience is virtue, pray. There you go, there you go. He's gonna come around, he's gonna come around. Pull him up. Pull him up, pull him up. Patience is virtue, pray. Then share your fears. One more, pull him up. I'm gonna make you a fisherman. Reach one. This is your boy Hayden Belinji from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and you are listening to DJ Ira Harris. Hey, my brother Fresh from SVG. 
Kate and Billy G on time. God is right on time, God. Yes, he is. A little taste, a little taste of what you're going to get today with Hayden Billigy comes in the studio. Yes, yes. Top on him, walk straight. You're on time. You're on time. You on time every time. You on time every time, God. You on time every time. On time, on time, you on time, time, time every time. Yeah. You on time every time. You on time every time, God. You on time every time. On time, on time, on time every time. Yeah. All right on time, God. He's all right on time, God. You want time every time, God. You want time every time. You can't give up. You can't give up, family and friends. Quitting is not an option. God is right on time. He may not come when you want it, right? But he's right there on time. Think about, think about how he kept you. Think about the angels protecting you, ascending, descending for on his, your behalf. That near car accident almost took you off. That was the enemy trying to seek kill, K-I-L-L. He didn't try just to wound you and, and mess you up and make you have a bad day. He trying to seek and kill you. But God's grace and mercy, even when you didn't even know him. Don't give up. God is right on time, y'all. Christians, folks, believers, where you at? You want time every time. You want time every time, God. You want time every time. says never leave you nor forsake you he's got you has a wonderful plan and a hope for you he would not create you in your own in his own image if he didn't have a wonderful plan for you come on number the hairs on your head but it's up for you to live a Christ first life don't get fed 
get up and don't give up, y'all. Keep focus, keep focus, no matter what the situation look like. You want time every time. And you remember I keep telling you, don't make a permanent decision based on temporary situations. You want time every time. You want time every time, God. You want time every time. You want time every time, yeah. You want time every time. You want time every time, God. You want time every time. God first, keep God first, man. Listen with a little bit of Hayden, Bill and G here on time. He's all right on time, God, y'all. Giving you a little taste, a little taste of what coming was coming. You want time every time. You want time every time, God. You want time every time. You want time every time, yeah. You want time every time. Time every time, God. You want time every time. Yes, family, friends, in the studio of Cool FM. Make sure you stick and stay, stick and stay, stick and stay. And like those people say, don't touch that now. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got here next for you. Okay, so when I go in there for judgment, I need how many points to get into heaven? 1,000. Should be, no problem. I was a good husband. How many points do you think I'll get for that? Oh, two. Two? Well, how much for being a doctor now? I saved lives. Hmm, three points. That's it? What about the time I ran into that burning house to save a kitten? That was good. And? Two points. But I could have died. Two points. I banked a lot on that stupid cat. I'm sorry. So to get into heaven, I need... One thousand points. And I have... Seven. It's time for you to go in now. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm a pretty good fellow. If all I get is seven points, how does anyone get into heaven? They don't take the test. What? Now, why not? Because they know they don't meet God's standards. Then how do they get into heaven? They've asked Jesus to take the test for them. They get in on his score, not theirs. Are you putting your faith in what you can do or accomplish? Or are you putting your faith in God? Another message from Life. Trust God, trust God, family and friends. A little bit of Becky Shea, hey, for ya. We talk about Hosanna, Hosanna. Yes, that's what your angels sing in heaven. Hosanna, Hosanna is highest of kings of kings, a lot of lords. So here we go, a little bit of Becca Shea on this beautiful Friday. Hosanna, Hosanna. All of my heart is crying, Hosanna, Hosanna. He's coming back soon, we need him more than ever. All of my heart is crying, Hosanna He's raising up a standard Hosanna, Hosanna We need to wake up, acknowledge his presence When he comes in Don't and you what he's saying Cause there's a message That's right, we need the We're truth. doing forever in our midnight Your race is up And to you. Abba says he's gonna help us win it He got me feeling like Hosanna, Hosanna All of my 
Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna is highest. Oh my goodness. Give God the praises, family and friends. You know what? God sees you. He sees you. You're out there trying to run your race and do things for the Lord. God sees you, y'all. Keep on, keep on moving. Keep on pushing forward, y'all. I know you got to get your hustle on. I know sometimes it's raining out there. Sometimes it may be snowing out there. <laughs> yeah, but you got to do what you got to do so God will get the glory. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of really early. It's okay, it's okay. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to Him than they are? It's all okay. Put on my face, rest my head on my pillow. Even through chaos, He's keeping it mellow. He leaves me beside still water. Shadows of me, He's filling me. It's okay when you're running your race for Yahweh. You got to keep on staying focused, y'all. Sometimes it may look hard. Sometimes it may look difficult to you. But you got to keep on running your race for Yahweh. No race when you're running the race for Yahweh. Stay focused. Stay focused. No race when you're running the race for Yahweh. Go get your hustle on so God get the glory. God will 
take care of you. God will meet every single need. Come on, look at the birds, man. He's taking care of them, aren't he? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more available to Him than they are? No waste when you're running the race for Yahweh. Do it on my face, rest my head on my pillow. Keeping the way I see, keeping it mellow. He's me beside still water. Shadows of me, he's flying. God's business. And I'll have a bowl of your clam chowder. Thank you, sir. So as I was saying, Bob, what you and I believe about God is different. But that's okay. How so? Well, what you believe about God is true for you, and what I believe is true for me. Here you go, sir. Thank you. They can't both be true. Oh, sure they can. It's all about belief. Wait a minute. This isn't clam chowder. It's a bowl of water. That's okay. Why don't you just believe it's clam chowder? Because it's not. Oh, I believe I can smell clam. This is a bowl of tap water. You said that belief is all that matters when it comes to God. If that logic applies to something as important as God, it, it should work on your soup. Regardless of what I believe, this is still going to be a bowl of water. Frank, God is as real as that bowl of water. So we have to discover who God really is. We can't just believe what we want to believe about him. Fine, God. God is God, but this is not soup. Yeah, it's for washing your hands in after you eat your order of ribs. Another message from Lifeline Productions. Yes, family, friends. <laughs> seek the truth in all things. Seek understanding, family, friends. All right, Harris said, with you a little bit of Nathan Fisherman. Ja, ja, ja. Jehovah Ja will never disappoint you, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. No Daniel again, na na na. Kelly on the beat, boy. Hold back the tears, I try. No wasting tears, don't cry. No weaknesses, just smile like my enemies, like my friend and me. They don't want you win, they don't like it. They can't see you win, they try fight it. Mmm, I'm be a bad mind thing. I'm be a bad mind thing. We a table in the presence of my enemies In a time we have eyes and find the friends to eat Me give them anything them want, anything them need That's why I hate to see them turn around and jealous Me yeah, no. no need that type of energy Watch out my brother, them a fight over this enemies But God, you put that angel over me God has got you. They to sell, they to sell, they to self. It was hard to pull the trigger on myself. Ah, 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 unforgiveness and pride on the shelf. It's not good for me, spiritual health. Ah. Me work hard and me battle same way. Me fight hard and me struggle some days. Got life hard and me got too much pain. So no bother send me a bit easy. Jehovah. We fill a table in the presence of my enemies. In a time we have eyes and tight the friends to eat. Me give them anything they want, anything they need That's why I hate to see them turn around and jealous Me don't need that type of energy Watch out my brother, them a fight over the center of me But God, you put an angel over me Angels around you It's sending the descendants So God has got you protect you, y'all But God, you put an angel over me God, I never disappoint Nah, 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 oh yeah Say, God, I never disappoint
one. Yes, family and friends. A little bit of the next one here from Hayden Billingy. My brother out at SVG. You know what we're talking about? You know we heard Jaja never disappoint you. Now we're gonna hear about God will never fail you, never leave you, not forsake you. Why? Oh yeah. Why? Why? Yo, this is your boy Hayden Belinji from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and you are listening to DJ Ira Harris. Why? 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 As I drive through this life. Trying to catch my breath Been through the storm but me never feel it just Provide my needs so me never have a fret I will sing of his goodness forever I will never be afraid Of the terror by night or the arrow that fired by day Not a pestilence the suckers in the darkness He will drive my enemies away Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet, he never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat He never fear me yet, he never fear me yet Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death he never fear me yet, he never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat He never fear me yet, he never fear me yet I will lift up my eyes Where my help is secure My help is from God Who made this universe My constant friend My only source Whose name shall be exalted forever and ever The Lord is my keeper, no enemy shall stand Ten thousand will fall at my right hand My soul he shall preserve In my going out and coming in Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me, he never fear me yet. The Lord is my keeper and shall face no threat it never fear me yet, it never fear me yet Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death It never fear me yet, it never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat It never fear me yet, it never fear me yet Hey, walk to the shadow of dead. God will always be there with you. Jesus went down the hill and he took the keys of the dead. Man, where is I sting? God has got you, y'all. No plague shall come to my dwelling place. Cause under his cover is mercy and grace. He is my shade upon my right hand. My foot shall not be moved. They will plant on the earth. Jaja guide me since birth. Jaja guide me since birth. Jaja guide me since birth. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, He never fear me yet. He never fear me yet. The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat. He never fear me yet. He never fear me yet. Though I the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest through the green meadows. He leads me beside a peaceful stream. He renews my strength and he guides me around the right paths. Bringing honor to his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff, they protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me for anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely, surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, 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 ever, ever. Amen. Yo, this is your boy Hayden Belinji from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and you are listening to DJ Ira Harris. Why I? Why I? 
Why, As I drive through this life Try to catch my breath Been through the storm but me never feeling this Provide my needs so me never have a fret I will sing of his goodness forever I will never be afraid Of the terror by night Or the arrow that fired by day Not a pestilence That's like us in the darkness He will drive my enemies away Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet He never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper I shall face no threat He never fear me yet He never fear me yet Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet He never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper I shall face no threat He never fear me yet He never fear me yet I lift up my eyes where my help is seek your Your help to this strength come from the Lord Jehovah Jireh, your Lord, your provider, and I Elohim Sam Jehovah. Lift up my eye. Where my help is seek your My help is from God who made this universe. I got some friend, my only source. Whose name shall be exalted forever and ever The Lord is my keeper, no enemy shall stand Ten thousand will fall at my right hand My soul he shall preserve In my going out and coming in Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet, he never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat it never fear me yet, it never fear me yet Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death It never fear me yet, it never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat It never fear me yet, it never fear me yet no. Why? Why I? Why I? Yes, family and friends Family and friends Psalms 91 Those who live in the shelter of the Most High Who rest in the shadow of the Mighty I declare about the Lord He is my loan He is my refuge My place My safety He is my God and I trust in Him He will rescue you from every trap And protect you from the death of disease He will cover you with His feathers Where my help is secure my help is from God who made this universe. Yes, family and friends. What? You must declare, declare today what? that God alone is your refuge, your place, and your safety. For He is God and you have to trust in Him. He will rescue you from every trap what? and protect you from the deadly diseases. What? He will cover you. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with his wings, family and friends. His faithful promises are your arm and protection. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Never fear me. No plague shall come to my dwelling place. Cause under his cover is mercy and grace. He is my shade upon my right hand. My foot shall not be moved. They will plant on the earth. Jaja guide me since birth. Jaja guide me since birth. Jaja guide me since birth. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, He never fear me yet. He never fear me yet. The Lord is my keeper. I shall face no threat. He never fear me yet. He never fear me yet. Why? Yes, family and friends, do not be afraid of the terrors by night. Not the arrow that flies at day. Do not dread the diseases that stalk in the darkness. Nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Family, friends, a thousand may fall on your side, and ten thousand are dying around you. These evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. 
If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the most high your shelter, no evil shall come to you, no plague will come to your home. What? Ah, yes. He will order his angel to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands. You won't even hurt your foot upon a stone. What? He already will trample on lions. What? This is you, family and friends. You're going to trample on lions and cobras. Yeah, yeah. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. What? I will protect those who trust in my name. And with you, family and friends, and me, and myself, and you, and I, and my family, anyone what? who calls on the name of the Lord, he will answer. He will answer. You will be there in trouble. He will rescue what? and honor them. God says, I will reward them with long life and give them my salvation. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. They never fail me yet. They never fail me yet. The Lord is my keeper. I shall face no threat. They never fail me yet. God's promises, God's promises for your family and friends. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. They never fail me yet. They never fail me yet. The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat And never fear me yet, and never fear me yet Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet, He never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat And never fear me yet, and never fear me yet Music that lifts your spirit Positive hits Walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet, He never fear me yet the Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat And never fear me Have no fear, Jehovah Jireh, your Lord and provider is here And never fear me yet Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death He never fear me yet, He never fear me yet The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat And never fear me yet, He never fear me yet Thank you Lord, thank you Lord Family, friends, that sounds right there. Ja, ja, guide me, oh, I walk through the valley of the ja. Sounds right there of Hayden Bill and G. Powerful song right there, man. That thing is touching me this morning. How many of y'all feel that right there? If you're feeling that right now, put your hand up. Say, Father God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for never failing me yet, y'all. Through the valley of the shadow of death, you never fail me yet. You never fail me yet. The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat. You never fail me yet. You never fail me yet. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you never fail me yet. You never fail me yet. The Lord is my keeper, I shall face no threat. You never fail me yet. You never fail me yet. Family and friends, it's time to let your light shine bright. Even though you're walking to the valley of shadow of the dead and you fear no evil, because God is right there with you, how is your life shining? When you walk into the room, does people know that Christ is inside of you? Are you being a change agent wherever you go? You're changing the atmosphere of people around you. You're turning that frown upside down and you're letting people see the joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on. A little bit of Toby Mac here for you. Let your life shine bright. Shine bright. Everywhere we go. Light shine bright. Handling God's business. Light shine bright. Everywhere we go. Music for the people. Making music for the people. Light shine bright. Everywhere we go. Light shine bright. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Music for the people. Making music for the people. Reflect the sun, cut like precious diamonds, with colors by the millions. This is the only world we know, and for now this rental's our home. If we gon' be a reflection, gotta make this dirt rock glow. Just so you know. Life shines bright everywhere we go. Music for the people to illuminate the show. Light shines bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, making music for the people. Light shines bright everywhere we go. Music for the people to illuminate the show. Light shines bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, Jesus, music for the people. 
place in the city might be more than pretty pretty That freaky shine might be more than meets the eye Anytime you see the sparkle in the dark you might look deeper <laughs> Deeper It might be more than simply fear Yo, that smile might be joy that's connected to the spirit The spirit might be contagious if you dare you dare come near it I remember can't forget peace that you can't second guess Sparkle as the light reflects we write and pay it forward checks Light shine bright everywhere we go Music for the people to illuminate the show Light shine bright everywhere we go Music for the people making music for the people Light shine bright everywhere we go Music for the people to illuminate the show Light shine bright everywhere we go Music for the people, Jesus, music for the people Let your light shine bright. No matter where you go, family and friends, people have to see the joy of the Lord reflected from inside of you. Don't hide your light onto a bushel now. Let people know. Let people know that you love the Lord. Let someone know that they can have the same joy in their hearts today by just following being a believer of Christ. It's all about the dead, burial, resurrection of the Jesus Christ, y'all. So come on. Turn that frown upside down. If you're saved and sanctified, you should be saved and show a sign. Okay, life shine bright. Johnson, welcome to Judgment. Have a seat while I examine your life. Sure. Does it say anything in there about me believing in God? Uh, yes, it does say you believed in the existence of a God. Oh, good. I hear that's real important. Well, I've seen enough. If you could have a seat with that group over there, you'll be taken to your destination. Over there? Oh, okay. Next. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Is that Satan in my group? Uh, yes, it is. Next. Wait a minute. You're putting me in the same group with Satan? According to your records, you never trusted your life to God. Hold on. I believed in God. So did Satan, Mr. Johnson. He didn't put his faith in God either. What do you mean, put my faith in God? It is not enough to believe in the existence of a God or a cosmic force or deity. Mr. Johnson, you were sinful, and God was willing to forgive you through his son Jesus. Problem is, you never asked for or accepted his forgiveness. Next. Another message from Lifeline Productions. Hey, good day. This is Ira Harris with your Empower Meditational Moment. Oh, boy, I tell you, you know you're in a fight when your future is bright. Now, do you want to be unbeatable to win the fight against the enemy every time? Well, look, it's time to gear up. Gear up, gear up. Hey, you know you talk to military vet here. So I'm going to go military old school on you and teach you what you need to know. Equipment, give you the tools that you need to succeed. How about that? This ain't no two-step program or no three-step program. There ain't no spin around or send a doggone message and uh, what? Send us to seven friends and then at the seventh hour, the seventh day, you're going to be blessed. Are you crazy? Are you out your mind? It don't work that way. That's the trick of the enemy, especially when I'm believing. You send a text, say, thou do, thus do. 
And if you send it to six friends, God gonna open up the door. The God don't work like that. He ain't your spiritual genie. Are you out of your everlasting mind? Don't send me that foolishness. <laughs> and don't send it to no other person that ain't even know Christ. Because they can feel if they do that, rub his belly like Buddha six times, something gonna happen. Cut the foolishness out. Okay, sorry y'all. Y'all help me rap. Let me get back to what I'm talking about. That was not what I was talking about. <laughs> Lord Jesus help me. Anyway, look, <laughs> I'm here to give you some tools, right? Tools to help you, equip you. Sometimes I get carried away, y'all. Y'all pray for me. I tell you, I need some prayer. And then y'all give me a mic. <laughs> look, I remember um, in my military career, you know, when you're getting ready to go handle our business, you know, go out there, deploy, do what we need to do, you know, protect and serve, protect our shores, domestic and from foreign, yada, yada, yada. So as the mission got closer, we had like 12 hours, a window of deployment, opportunity to get ready, right? So that's when we remain in what we call alert standards, geared up for all you military guys who listen to me. You know what I'm talking about. For all you civilian minded folks, we finna get you in the military status, okay? We gonna change your stinking thinking and put on some real life Christian thinking. How about that? So we're gonna get up, get you ready for deployment at a moment's notice. Now we had our battle plan, our orders in hand. We were ready, ready to deploy, sea bag, pack, you know, got the armor, the breastplate, everything. We read it. That's how you got to do it, the spiritual aspect. The same applies to this fight against seen and unseen forces. We only have one common enemy, guys. I'm not your enemy. Your boo is not your enemy. Some other folks is not your enemy. Look, we have one common enemy, and that is the devil himself, Satan, Lucifer. Yes, the fallen one. He is fallen, okay? Now, we're in a fight, yes. And it's because your future, I keep saying it, your future, your prosperity, everything that God has for you is bright. He sometimes sees that. He knows that God has that plan for you. So he wants to what? He want to play with you. He want to irritate your spirit. He want to see, kill, kill you. That near car accident, that, you know, almost getting turned over a bird or a electrocuted or whatever that near accident was not just to just phase you that was to kill you take you out before your time man using them drugs and alcohol and having go in a comatose state or coma and all that crazy mess that that is just to kill you he's trying to wipe you out to cut your destiny short you know he ain't trying to be your friend so do not be his friend all right Continue here. Your mission statement, your plan of attack is here. I'm going to give it to you. It's outlined right now. So today, let's take a look at seven ways. All right. Seven is a number for completion. If you do not know, that's a number for completion. Seven, seven, seven. Seven ways to make the devil flee. God has promised us that he will cause our enemies who rise up against us to be defeated before our faces. That's his promise, man. Now, we can get in the way of our blessings and leave room for the enemy to stand on our faces rather than flee in seven ways. With that in mind, there are seven tactics to make the devil free seven ways. One, diligently seek the voice of the Lord your God. Listen to him. Two, repent before you engage in battle. Clear your mind, spirit, heart, and soul. Three, know that God is on your side. Without a doubt, know that he's got you present, brought you through, your present and has the future for you. War from a position of victory. Stand tall. Praise your way through. Praise confuses the enemy and praise is the way through your breakthrough, y'all. Six, take up your armor. You know that B-I-B-L-A, the word, the scripture, you got to know, put something inside you to cover you. If you ain't got nothing inside you and not putting anything in, when you get squeezed, you know how olives have compressed. If you get squeezed, whatever's in you gonna come out. If you ain't got no word in you, ain't nothing gonna come out. <laughs> pray always and be watchful. Pray, 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 pray. That's the seventh one. Pray always and be watchful. Look how easy that is, right? So look, breaking the power of the vicious cycles is often I'm making better choices. Now, when you're in a demonic cycle, you need to identify imaginations and world. Those patterns are attacking the spirits to wreak havoc in your life. We wrestle against prince and principalities, things you cannot see. You know, it's not everything in the physical that you fight against, y'all. It's some serious prince and principalities up there, you know? So go for it. Spiritual warfare that you are, with praise in your heart, pray in your lips, dress for battle. Be strong in the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord, and the devil will flee seven times. And the word says that he has no choice. So when you submit yourself to God and resist him, no demon in hell is stronger. None of them is stronger than a will aligned with the word of God. So God's grace, it floods the soul and seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Hey, the word says all the things be added to you. Everything you need, you seek him first. Let's start up with a scripture. Deuteronomy 28, 7 to 9, New Living. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on every Everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord, your God, 
will bless you in the land he's given to you. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, the Lord would establish you as his holy people as he swore he would do. Look, <laughs> that's a lot right there. I need you to marinate on that. I need you to know that you are unbeatable. You're unbeatable. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Jesus said, devil, it is written, it is written, it is written, it is written. That's what he said, it's written. And every time the devil opened his mouth, the Jesus threw scripture in his mouth. He came back at him again and he said, devil, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. He hit him over and over and over with the scripture. And guess what happened? The devil ran. And guess what you can do beginning tonight? You don't have to take it. You don't have to take his mess, you don't have to take his stuff, hit him! It is written! When the devil comes up and says, how do you know you've been saved? You are not saved, yes I am saved! Hit him! If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved! Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hit him. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Hit him. How are you going to make it? My God shall supply my every need. How are you going to go through? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It's written. It's written. It's written. It's in the book. It's in the Bible. All you have to do is take out your Bible and say, where are you, devil? Come on, devil. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Hit him. Hit him. Let's get it on. He's defeated. Our law is king of kings and lord of lords. Hit that devil with the word. is in the Bible. All you have to do is take out your Bible and say, where are you, devil? Come on, devil. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me all the time, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die. You're in a fight because your future is just bright, y'all. I'm telling you, <laughs> you better hit him in the head with some words. Look, man, these powerful teachings are going to help you uncover a deep understanding on how to create a strategy to outsmart, defeat the enemy, and mess up his plan to destroy your life. Remember, you have the power given inside of you. He will come in one direction and flee in seven different directions, okay? You got to use the Word of God. Go into that Bible, the basic instruction before leaving earth. This has been our Harris with your apartment moment. And remember, God loves you. I love you. And there's absolutely nothing, nothing, no one can do about it. Peace. Be still, that is.
of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. This DJ is chosen. Family friends, we going all the way down to SVG this morning. Oh yes, beautiful island of St. Vincent and their gritted deeds. Man, I got someone going to be here with you this morning. Oh my goodness, but let's set the stage right here. Oh my goodness. SVG. If you've never been to St. Vincent and the Grenadines after this song, you might want to leave and want to go visit. I'm ready to go right now. Good morning to you, ain't it? And the SVG family down there who tune in this morning. Good morning, good morning. Come join me in the Caribbean sun. The coconuts are fresh off the tree. It's the natural place to be. Sunrise, sunset, it's alright Just lay back and take in the sight Take off your shoe for a while And come on and enjoy the vibe Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines Welcome, welcome, SVG family and friends The AXA and Gorilla, good body Off the flight to the beach and groove to the rhythm of the reeds. The ocean's your only retreat. Let the waves caress your feet. Bathe where the river kiss the sea. Waterfalls will set your mind free. Hang up your troubles for a while. Come sail with me through the night. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes, I play this here by sound by Hayden Billage, man. Good times, good times. I welcome my SVG family this morning. Just trying to make them at home here at Anguilla this morning before we get started with the interview. Who will bruise your fresh soul? soul? Would make your body spirit whole? Soul. Come to a shores and be restored. Walk with your health, it's an open door. Where God gave us peace and no moderation. You live abroad, we live a new vacation The atmosphere is right, here we live at ease Welcome to the gem of the Antilles Welcome to the Gem of the Antilles Hey Gem Antilles! <laughs> yes, this is the song of Hayden Milligan, man This is the promo song he did down there for SVG Just trying to let you know And good morning to my SVG people Good morning Jasmine Northside Good morning there Oh my goodness <laughs> Good morning, Minelva. Good morning, family, friends, all around the entire planet. We got a guest artist here with us this morning from SVG. Just trying to make him feel comfortable, you know, playing a little local song here. Good morning, good morning to the live streamers this morning. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we got brother Hayden, Bill and G in the studio here with us this morning. And he's going to share some songs, some testimony for you all the way from SVG. Good morning to the Coopers down there in Tartola joining us this morning. (music) 
and of course everyone down here on my beautiful island of Anguilla Rainbow City I'm out there asking if he can do uh, one of these here for Anguilla because it sounds so sweet I can't even get off of this thing we might have to just sit around listen to this one all oh, morning before we get started Said with you in a beautiful morning. I'm telling you, I got a special artist right here with me today, Hayden Villager. Man, I'm telling you, he's doing great things. Hey, Hayden, how you doing this morning? Yeah, DJ Ira Harris, man. I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I am doing so awesome. Family, friends, let me tell you a little bit about Hayden. He's gonna elaborate a little bit, man. He's doing big things out of SVG all the way from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You're talking about a young man just started out at the age of 13, wrote songs on the cheerleading team in, in secondary school, the boys band around 16, 18, man. He sang in local events. He's a songwriter, singing career blossomed from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Being over there at the song festivals in Cuba, Gospel Fest, Barbados, man, he got that one debut song on an EP, Hold On. But you know what? Man, I'm going to let him tell a little bit more of his story, his testimony for you all. Go ahead, my brother. Yo, 784 in the house. Um, thank you for having me on your program. I'm definitely delighted to be part of this program, man. Listen, I grew up just singing every moment I, I got. I sang the shower, I sang when I was washing the dishes, I sang when I was washing, cooking, everything was singing, 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 singing. Yeah. Uh, my mom would say to me, look, look, Hayden, it's time to shut up. Because he's always singing. <laughs> but for me, singing, singing has been for me like therapy, you know? It's a place I can escape to. Right. A pleasant place with chords and beautiful melodies and I could sing my heart content and that is how I spent my childhood just singing man and I started singing in choirs at a very young age in school also singing in the church choir and then I started singing with some you know some other guys we had a boys group we sang at different events and then as I grew into a man I started to sing with a, a man's group <laughs> there you go yeah, and it just evolved from there. But my passion was never singing. My passion was actually songwriting, to be honest. Oh, okay. So you you, you, you did songwriting for other artists, or that was just something you do for yourself? Well, here's the thing. I started writing songs because I was trying to uh, be inspired, you know, but from different events in my life. And I would ask several artists to sing the songs for me, and they would refuse. Oh, my. And my... Yeah, they were still, no, 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 I write for myself, you know, unfortunately, I uh, can't accommodate you right now. So one of my friends said to me, why don't you at least do one song and see how that comes out? Yeah. So I agreed to do the song and then that was the start of my career as a singer. Nice, nice. What was your first song? What was your first song? My first song was called No More. No More, okay. The hook line is, weather is across our tree. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter to me. And it talked about Christ crucified, no more. Well, how long has that been? And what was the inspiration behind Man, no more? That's been about three, four years. But here happened, right? I was at church one Sunday morning and the pastor was preaching. And he was preaching about the crucifixion and how Christ died for us. 
and once it dies our sins are no more right so i started to write a poem about his sermon right uh-huh. and then i sent it to one of my friends who is a singer and she said to me hey then do you know you just wrote a reggae wow. so i said a reggae she said yes it's a bad reggae so she sent me back the voice note of the poem song in a reggae format and i was like what it sounded really good so i said to her why don't you take it for your band and sing it but they never did so i decided i was going to do it and that was the start of my career as a singer wow no more so no more your first release there let's go ahead and listen to no more go ahead and introduce your song brother man this song is about christ dying for our sins and once he died our sins are no more check it out here we go run that track Of a gruesome carnage of our Savior who cares for life to the point that he died, not for his honorary mention, but for our redemption. Whether it's a cross or a tree, it doesn't matter to me. As the truth goes, he died and he rose. For me, the ransom was paid in the tomb, we no longer lay. Free as an eagle, I saw my sins remembered no more. My sins remembered no more. The body that was crucified for hearts that are damnified. It's an equation that rivals any comparison. Think of the AG. But die for those who would take his life When hopes of saving mankind It's a thought that boggles my mind Whether it's a cross or a tree It doesn't matter to me As the truth goes, he died and he rose For me the ransom was paid in the tomb in a long So my sins remember no more My sins remember no more Who could ever love me with such unconditionality With imperfections that needs constant compassion All through his ways, my wretched soul he now embraced Oh what a God, ransom through love a gift to send from above yeah. Whether it's a cross or a tree It doesn't matter to me As the truth goes He died and he rose For me the ransom was paid In the tomb in a long delay Free as an eagle I saw My sins remembered no more my sins remember no more, no more, no more. It's time to be the sins of Christ, no more, no more. It's time to cover me, the price, no more, no more. It's time to so great to love and no man, no more, no more. to me as the truth goes he died and he rose for me the ransom was paid in the tomb in the long delay free as an eagle I 
saw My sins remembered no more My sins remembered no more And there you heard no more with Brother Hayden here, all the way from SVG here on the radio this morning. AXA and Gwola, man, what is no more, I'm telling you. So, man, that was your first one. Now, you got one there that's very popular, and it's called Feel It, Feel It, man. Feel It in My Soul. Yo. That's a new one right there. Tell us about that one. And what inspired you that? Because I'm feeling it right now. I want to get it on and play that thing. But you tell us about it, brother. Yo, DJ Ari, I'm telling you, this song just, I would say, it's part coincidental and part, I would say, predestined. One of my friends who is a producer, he's my producer as well, and we would talk on Skype about music daily. Yeah. And one day he was doing an ad for a restaurant the restaurant is called big chef yes. restaurant okay and the ad was so tough that everybody was started saying to him there's a song so he decided to make that into a rhythm and this person is called ronald buhinks out of st lucia okay and the engineer i'm referring to is called mariah st louis and they decided to do this ad into a rhythm and I happened to hear the rhythm in the background while they were talking. And almost subconsciously, I started to sing, feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul. And I caught myself singing this thing over and over to the rhythm in the background. Yeah. And yo, I said, but this is a song. Wow. Wow. This is a song. So I said to him, can you send me the rhythm? He said to me, sure. But I thought he was joking because this man is a Grammy-nominated songwriter. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, why would he send me a rhythm? I mean, I am not a... I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not no big singer anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, we, trust we think things. you're big. We think you're big today. <laughs> well, well, I am big today. <laughs> but I just thought he would never send it to me because I am not a Grammy-nominated artist. Right. He would probably send it to somebody else who, who is bigger than I am. But he sent it to me and I started to write on the song and before you know it, the song became this this hit. Yeah. It just took a life of its own and it was embraced throughout the Caribbean. I mean, people keep asking me for, for um dub plates and for radio jobs and I was like, My goodness, this thing is crazy. Wow. You know? Yeah. So family and friends, all the way from SVG Hayden Blingley with Feel him in my soul. Here we go. They say that you frustrated. You just can't hide it. He got you. There is no feeling like it. There's nothing that he cannot fix. You just gonna have to try him. Like I'm and I know he won't in me. And I will not hide it. I want the world to see it. Cause I test and tried it. But I can all can feel just like it. The waistline can satisfy it. Chap chap, not that exciting. Alcohol can make me leave it. Feel him, feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul. Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole. Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul. Feel him. Feel him since Jesus made me whole. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. Deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. Deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. Deep down in my soul. I met him at church one Sunday. That's when he saw chance for me Was me and my brother I said we were convicted of our sin We fell to the altar Accept Jesus our sin the difference you made in my life When you came my way I'll never be the same I will never go astray I will trust in at the most high Every night and day Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him Feel him, feel him, feel him, feel him, 
feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him, since Jesus made me whole Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him, since Jesus made me whole How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Family and friends, Ira Harris here with you again, man. I tell you, you just heard feel him in your soul. And if you guys are like me, man, we feel it that in our soul. That's Jesus and that thing all over, man. We are Imagine that. that song, man. Wow. Yeah, man. Taking it from maybe a secular level or something, just a worldly level, and just turn it so God will get the glory. <laughs> man, I am feeling in my soul. All the way down to the big toe, brother. But that was good. That was good, family and friends. So you know what? We got a next one here. Yahweh, Yahweh, man. Yahweh. Praise and worship Yahweh. Tell us about what was going on yeah, with man. Yahweh. My last year, I actually decided I was done with music. Because uh -huh. I was a bit frustrated and I was like, yo, this thing really walking out. And I just needed a break. So I went away to Guyana. I said, Lord, I am not singing. I'm not recording. I'm going to go away some far place. Went to Guyana. And when I thought I was done singing, guy, I was telling the Lord, Lord, I don't know where I'm going. I, I need direction from you. I don't know if what I'm doing makes sense. I don't know if it's amounting to anything. Yeah. How do I know? How do I trust you to believe that you would lead me in the right path? How would I know to trust you that you're going to take care of all of my needs? How do I know that you're going to, you're going to take care of everything that you said and you promised? And the answer came from him. I'm Yahweh. I'm Yahweh. Wow. And I thought, I thought this thing, some say you are a superstar. Some say you are, you know, the son of man. But who you are, you know? You know? And before I knew it, I had a complete song. I met up with an engineer who I was working with. I was helping him out in the studio to help his, his artist to prepare for a studio. Uh -huh. And one day, he said to me, why don't, why, don't, why don't we do a song together? So I said, really? So I said, yeah. He said, yeah. So I said, listen, I have a song. And he fell in love with the song and he said, let's do it. And before I know it, Yahweh was born. Yahweh was taking over the radio, radio stations. Yahweh was just making a, its own path, like a hurricane. Wow. Literally. <laughs> Yahweh. God Yahweh, taking man. over. Man, you sound like you was running like Job and he had to pull you back then, put you Yo. back on the right track like Yahweh. Been, huh? Look, yo, I've been running. I've been running from God because, look. I just thought that this thing was too big for me. Yeah. And I couldn't do it, man. But God showed me that he's Yahweh and he's in control and he got my back. You know what I mean? Yes. And yes. there's no need for me to run anymore. Just recognize that he is Yahweh, he's Adonai, he's El Shaddai, and there's nothing too hard for him to do for a little boy like me. Wow. From a small village. Wow. Doing big things with Yahweh. Go ahead, introduce that one first, my brother. Yahweh. Yo. God is everything to us. He has so many names, but yet he is the same God. Yahweh Adonai El Shaddai. Yo, he's Yahweh. Listen to this picture right here. Yahweh. You are Man. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. El Shaddai. Some say you are a superstar. Some say you come from a place to far to identify with our feelings. You came to all be believing. Oh, 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 all praise is due to you. Oh, 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 all praise is due to you. Some call you Rafa, you are my healer. Some call you Jaira, you're my provider. Adam Nine, that's who you are. Yeah, 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 Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yeah, 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 Yahweh, Ooh, Ooh, Yahweh. Yeah, 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 Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Some say you are. 
son of man All I say you are The righteous one Who understand our problem The only one who can solve them oh, All praise is due to you Forever with me Some call you Jesse You set me free How will they know If they don't know you I... Boy boy We gotta let them know That you Yahweh Yahweh Some say you come from a place to far To identify with our feelings You came to help me believe it Shaddai, Elohim, Jehovah Jireh, your Lord and our provider. Oh my goodness, man, that is a powerful track, man. Y'all better look towards the Yahweh for your help and your strength. That would it comes from the Lord. I'm That's telling you, man. Awesome, you try to find it in your own way or different things. Even your run, Job run. He didn't even try yeah. to run to. And look what happened. God take control and say, look, we are bigger and better than what you could even imagine. We can't serve a mediocre God. We can't limit God, man. Let God have his way, Yahweh. Wait, My brother, that is powerful, powerful, powerful sound right there. It's going to touch millions definitely for sure, man. But you know what? I got this one here that says, all right. Everything is going to be right. all right. What's up with that one, my brother? Hate it. Man, I was doing my thing, you know, and then people start to make comments about the songs. Oh, he can't sing. Oh, you know, maybe this is not for him. He's a chef. He's a designer. He's an environmentalist. What are you doing with singing now? You know, he should quit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I thought about it and I said, you know what? I want to put all of my energy into basically saying what is in my heart into a song yeah and when i reflected in, on it on all of it i said to myself you know what god called david who was unqualified to be a king he oh was my. a shepherd boy yes god called joseph from a pit to the palace he called esther from obscurity into a place of prominence yes he called everybody who was nobody to become somebody without asking permission from anybody hmm. So I said, I'm going to serve God whether or not I'm approved by anybody. And I just started to pen this song about, you know, God got my back. It's going to be all right. And for those who are listening, I don't care where you are, what you're doing, what you've, what you've done, where you've been. God's got your back and it's going to be all right. Just trust in him. 
never give up and continue to be patient and live and walk in his promises and it's gonna be all right yes everyone's got to run their race and enjoy like a good soldier and fight a good faith good so go ahead and it right. all right for us the listeners want to hear from you my brother i don't care what you're going through i don't care who said what they said about you man if god got your back you got the best security Yo officer way. on patrol if God's got your back, it's going to be all right. And this one is for everybody who have been neglected and who have been talked on or been stamped on. But it's going to be all right. Check it out right now. DJ, you have to play it twice.
forsake me This storm wanna break me You lodge, you in charge You are the one You bless me, never distress me Forsake me This storm wanna break me You lodge, you in charge You are the one You bless me, never distress me
family and friends, I have say with your man and my brother Hayden out of SVG went all right. right. You heard the song, you heard the words. Make sure it rests on your spirit. Make sure it take deep root. Don't worry about the naysayers. People talk about other people because they got nothing else better to do. I'm telling you, they're afraid to make a change in their life. They are scared. So when somebody oh, step out right. to do something different than norm, they get, oh my goodness, they get all crazy. But you know what? It's going to be all right. Like the man oh, said in the right, song, man. it's going to be all right. If God is for you, come on. Who can be against you? That's right, brother. I can live without you. I can live without you. There's no Searching and searching and there's no end Looking for answers, try to comprehend Out of love and I have no peace My mind is a battlefield On life support and my struggle is very real Here I am, there are no in-betweens Trying it all, Lord now I believe I can't live, no, no, no There's no life without you There's no life without you, God I can't live without you I can't, I can't, I can't There's no life without you And mountains and valleys I searched again Looking for pleasures but I'm not content Seeking for peace and I have no rest My heart bleeds for you inside my chest Want to live my life at your request I'm coming back to you God, yeah Cause I want your best, want your best Life without you is still listening to Hayden Billy G, y'all on a SVG. No life without you. I can't, I can't, I won't. There's no life without you. No life, no life. I can't live without you. Can't leave, can't leave. There's no life without you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so a man of many hats, many different things, producing, management of record artists and regional actor, producer, author, blogger, chef. Man, you get me hungry this morning. What's your favorite meal, brother? What is your favorite meal? We might have to yo. make a song out of that one, yo. Man, we gotta we gotta think about cooking and singing in one vein. Yes. When you sing, you get hungry, man. You gotta eat. My favorite dish is basically um, I don't eat meat, right? Uh-huh. I don't eat meat, 
So I do lots of vegetables. I really like couscous with veggies and, and some nice garden salad. Man, that's my thing. Right. Nice. You know, in the Bible, a lot of folks, people eat different things and stuff. You're like, you're blessing, you'll go with it. Definitely. This brings to mind with a Daniel fast. You go back to Daniel 1 in the 10 area there. In chapter 1, it describes, you know, how Daniel and the three friends ate only vegetables and drank water. Ten day period of time. And it was just, he was given and they put him against the other folks who the king was eating all the pleasantry, all the other big meals from the king table. And Daniel and the friends appeared to be healthier than their peers who ate the rich food from the table, <laughs> you know. And Daniel again fasted from those pleasant food, the meat, the wine. And you know, doing that in moderation, we definitely can have a clear mind man. by following that Daniel fast or even making a lifestyle there, you know. Yeah, man. So I tell people, look, I think you should choose what works for your body. Right. And I think what works for your body is what is going to help you to become the best you possible. Right. And I just decided to eat lots of vegetables, lots of provision, lots of green green stuff, and just keep my body healthy because look, look I, I have I, yeah. I have so many more years to live for the Lord. I have so many territories to cover. True. I want to make sure I'm in good health and I'm in good strength and that I could be used by God whenever, however, and as long as He would use me. Yes, well, that's what it's all about. We got to take care of the body, the temple, keep it holy, you know, and keep it honorable to God. Man, we can't do ministry and stuff when we all sick all the time, man. You know, yeah. you know we, we go to our <laughs> health cues. Now and then we get touched by the little stuff because oh. we're still in this body and it's going to fail and all that. But we got to be a good stewards of still the temple of the right. Lord that He gave us, man. That's right, man. We got to take care of the temple of God. And it takes us being responsible and accountable to ourselves first before we are comfortable to anybody else on this earth. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Flamin' Flamin', if you just join me, I'm talking with Hayden Blingley out of the SVG. Tiny island, tiny little village in Orange Hill. But you know what? Doing big things for the Lord, man. We heard about his testimony. We heard he started out in church. They're singing and just writing songs, man. Pass them to different people. Hey, but you know, it wasn't that time in the season for them to sing it. But it was up for him to do it there. So, man, I'm telling you, Brother Hayden, yeah. what you want to tell the people, you know, to leave the people with a word of inspiration to help them, to motivate them, to just inspire them to live this thing for God and walk out their faith and do whatever they got to do there, especially artists or somebody might have something in their spirit god burnt it inside up they scared to make a move man because of the naysayers you yeah. know man you said it i mean fear is our biggest prisoner and you know the funny thing is it keeps us in the prison of i can't and i won't and i don't have what it takes and i'm not good enough mm. and that's what fear does to us it makes us feel as if we are capable right. but we have a God who is, is more than able and he has called you with a purpose and a destiny for you to fulfill and if you commit your life to him commit your ways to him the Bible says he will direct your path and he says it and he will do it and so I want to say to those persons who might think that they're not good enough there's a God who sees you as good enough because he sent his son Christ to die on the cross. And if he weren't good enough, he wouldn't bother to send his son Jesus Christ. True. So therefore, it means that you are valuable. You are more than the sparrows. You are more than the lilies of the field. And if he takes care of them, he will take care of you. Just commit your ways to the Lord and see him work it out. Do not be afraid of what people might say about you. And do not be afraid of the development process. It takes a while to get where you are, where you want to be. But do not be afraid to try to fail and to try again. Yep. Do not be afraid that you may not be the greatest singer, you may not be the greatest speaker. But once you avail yourself, God would use you for his honor and for his glory. So don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to shine. You will know how much energy you have inside of you. You don't know how much light you have inside of you let you start to let it shine let people see it you are wonderful you have the power of christ in you and you can do anything you put your mind to how do you feel him 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 how do you feel him 
back by popular demand. Someone say they want to hear this right here. Feel him in my soul. So guess what I got to do? It is so. If it's nice, what the DJ have to do? You know what is nice? Tell me what the DJ has to do. He's got to what? It's so nice. DJ, you have to play it twice. Feel him. Feel him. Feel him. Feel him. Feel him. Feel him. How do you feel him? That you frustrated, you just gotta hide it. He got you. Yeah, yeah. There is no feeling like it. There's nothing that he cannot fix. You just gonna have to try him. Like I'm and I know he would in me. And I will not hide it. I want the world to see it. Cause I test and tried it. The bacchanal can feel just like it. The waistline can satisfy it. Chop, chop, not that. Exciting alcohol can make me leave it. Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul. Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole. Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul. Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole. How feel him, feel him, be feel him, feel him, feel him. Feel him, do you feel him? Feel him. Feel, feel him, feel him, feel him How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep. How do you feel him? Deep, deep down in my soul How Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Deep, How do you feel him? Deep, deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? Deep, How do you feel him? Deep, How do you feel him? Deep, deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? Deep, How do you feel him? Deep, How do you feel him? Deep, deep down in my soul. family friends you heard it right here my brother Hayden there out of SVG Hayden you may have some young artists and inspiring guys maybe listening or something in their case they want to get in touch with you go ahead and pass your information out to them and let the law lead you can find me on Facebook at Hayden Bilinji um, on Instagram Hayden underscore Bilinji and you can also reach me on WhatsApp uh, 1784 434 and you can also hit me up on my email but i think facebook is a good start i mean i work with a lot of um, young artists to mentor them and to help them along the journey and i'll be delighted to give you tips and give you ideas how to break through how to be uh, nominated for international awards and so on and so forth so hit me up man there you go family friends you heard it here look man you guys want to start out this is good to start so God will get the glory in life and don't get tempted by the other stuff out there because people may tell you here and you could probably testify to this do it this way do that way if you put the spin on that man that could make yeah. a nice secular song we pay your mom mommy but man those stuff pass away live a life that's yeah, conducive to God use your talents so God will take the glory hey what do you want to tell the young folks when they get pulled they got some little talent they want to get it out there but they get pulled by the world out there man what you want to encourage listen, them guy. A really, really famous producer met me one time. He said to me, Hayden, do you only do gospel? I said, yes, I do gospel inspiration and music. He said to me, Hayden, your voice, if you use your voice, you can become a big superstar in the secular arena. And this is a Grammy-nominated um, individual. And I said to, to him, I said, with all due respect, I thank you for the commendation and for the encouragement, but I know that I'm called by God and I want to fulfill it his will for my life so it is tempting to go out there and to want to show your colors as it were yeah it is tempting to want to prove a point to somebody but i tell you something guys only thing that is that will last is what's done for christ amen yes sir that is the only thing that will last 
And that is the most fulfilling thing that you've ever, ever experienced in your entire life. Do not be carried away by the bling and the glitter and the, the better rose. All these things come at a cost. And it come at a cost of your life. Hmm. And you have to choose at the end of the day what is most important for you. And do not be fooled. All these things come at a cost. And they come at a cost which includes your soul and your life. So do not be tempted by these things. Listen to me, guys. There is more, more to experience serving the Lord and doing the things of God. Do not be tempted by all these big talks and these people who want to, want to give you all these, these, these flattery and these, these big accolades. Listen, those things are just plastic and, and metal and, and big speeches. They mean absolutely nothing in the light of eternity. Listen, guys, don't be fooled. Focus on what is important. Focus on what will last. Because there is a time when you have to be reckoning and reckoning before God the things that you have done. And you want to be in a place where you can say, Lord, I've used my gifts to honor you. Yes. Hmm. Amen, amen. All those things fade away. Don't sell out your soul yeah, for the love of money, man. Money's a tool. Yeah, the talent is a tool you use so God will get the glory. And if God is in it, glory. ain't nobody can stop it. If you try to do it your and own I, self, it going to fade away because yeah, you're doing it in your and own Ira, strength. Yes, sir. Listen to me. I saw the Lord take me from nothing out of obscurity to be nominated for the best international artist for a UK-based gospel awards. Wow. And I placed in the top five positions. And I am telling you, where I come from, I come from a place, a small village of poverty. And I decided I was going to follow the Lord, His prompting, and see Him work. And many people would have discouraged me when I started and tell me, you know, this is not for you. Or they might tell you, do secular music instead because gospel music is not going anywhere. And I see the Lord just opening doors, huge doors in the UK, I mean, in the US. I mean, I cannot tell you how awesome God is and how much you must glorify Him for His good deeds. Because I know if it was up to me, I wouldn't have been on your show right now talking. I wouldn't, mm-hmm. have, I wouldn't have been in the UK at the awards. But I know it's because of God and it is goodness towards me that's right that's right brother don't despise small beginnings god would use no, anybody man. so he could get the glory man powerful brother powerful well brother hayden y'all can check him out hayden billingy there on the facebook he gave you the facebook information and you can look for him on at hayden billingy i'll spell Billing. that h-a-y-d-e-n B-I-L-L-I-N-G-Y Music. There you go. Your Friday Monday. Yeah, man. Check me out on YouTube. I have lots of material on YouTube. And you can get my, my songs to purchase on iTunes, on Apple Music, on Seek Baby, Google Play. It's everywhere. On Spotify, it's on Tidal. It's everywhere, man. Check it out. All the digital media support your local artists, man. I know my SVG folks are like they excited because on a tiny yeah. village of Orange Hill, man, where is Orange man. Hill at? Where Orange Hill at? Because I don't know, I never <laughs> been there. Yo, Orange Hill is in the rural part of the country. It's uh-huh. past the first town, Georgetown. Okay, and it's a little tiny village where people share their provision and where people are very kind to each other. Um, I mean, it's a wonderful little village, man, but I'm telling you, God can use anything, anybody from anywhere. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it can. (laughs) My family friend, you heard Halen Billigy here. That's spawning. Thank you so much, brother, for joining me and sharing your testimony, your music, and a word inspiration for everybody, man. And we gonna take it out with one of my favorite one here. Feel it, feel it, feel it in my soul. Oh in yeah. My soul. Yeah, my thanks for inviting me. Blessings, man. Alright, not a problem, not a problem. Feel him. Feel him. 
feel em, feel em, feel em, feel em. How do you feel em? Feel em, feel em, feel em. How do you feel em? Yo, this is your boy Hayden Belinji from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and you are listening to DJ Ira Harris. They say that you frustrated, you just can't hide it. Hey. There is no feeling like it, there's nothing that he cannot fix. You just gonna have to try him like I'm and I know he will in me. And I will not hide it. I want the world to see it Cause I test and tried it But I can all can feel just like it The waistline can satisfy it Chap chap not that exciting Alcohol can make me leave it Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him Feel him since Jesus made me whole. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Deep down in my soul. Can you feel him deep down in your soul, family and friends? Can you feel him? I met him at church one Sunday morning That's when he started transforming It was me and my brother I said we were on the way of our sin We felt in the altar I said Jesus I said the difference you made in my life When you came my way I'll never be the same I will never go astray I will trust in at the most high Every night and day Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him since Jesus made me whole Fe- Feel him, feel him, Fe- feel him, feel him, feel him Now that's what I'm talking about Feel him, Fe- feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul How do you feel him? Feel him, Fe- feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him Feel him, since Jesus made me whole Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him si- Fresh mix with Ira Feel him, feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him, since Jesus made me whole Fresh mix feel with him, Ira Harris Feel him, feel him in my soul Feel him, feel him, since Jesus made me whole Jesus, DJ How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Yes, my brother day in Christ. Feeling him in your soul. Hayden Bill and G. All I want to SVG. I know my SVG peoples are proud today. That's what's up. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? It's all about Jesus having a personal relationship with Jesus, y'all. Since Jesus made me whole. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? You gotta go out and get this one. You gotta go out and get this one. It's all about Jesus, y'all. It's Jesus, 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 Jesus. Feel him. Feel him. It's Jesus, it's Jesus. Feel him. How do you feel him? It's Jesus made me whole. It's all about JC. Lift him up and give him the glory. Jesus made me whole. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Deep down in my soul. How do you feel him? How do you feel him? Jesus made me whole. Jesus made me whole. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus made me whole. Jesus made me whole. Yup, 
Jesus made you whole.